So I want to try some of this waterless wash from Makoff. They sent me some samples to give out on my group ride. I've not actually used it myself yet. Uh, the idea is that you can, I guess my thoughts are you can just have a ride, take one of these bottles with you, a couple of cloths, and then clean your bike down. Uh, I want to test that right now. Now I have got loads of trail mud from my last ride that I did and it totally dried onto the bike and that's quite difficult to remove. And a fresh coating. I've just done a little ride around here. On we boys training. What Markoff are saying is that you can just use this without water and it cleans and polishes it as well. Um, so I'm just interested to see if it actually works. If it's good, I'll tell you. If it's crap, I'll tell you. My bike is absolutely caked in mud at the moment. It's uh, got loads of this sandy kind of grit on it from just around here as well, my local trail. So we'll give it a go. I'll show you what the bike's like in terms of the state that it's in and we'll have a look after. I am worried that it might scratch a bike because you use a cloth to kind of, you know, polish everything off. So, um, I mean, my bike's a bit scratched anyway, but we'll have a look to see uh, what it's like when you're actually kind of using it. So let's check it out. I'm going to spray the bike, give it a few minutes to soak off and um, see if it comes up clean. But I'll show you the state of the bike at the moment. All right, so what do we do? Let's have a look. So it says, shake the bottle, shake it vigorously to activate the formula, spray on the surface and leave for a time to penetrate the contaminants. Now gently wipe the area with a clean dry microfiber cloth. And let's just, I guess, coat it in this stuff. Ah, oh, it smells nice. That's the first thing I've noticed. There is no way it's going to get rid of all that, is there? Look. Coat the bike. Yep. Down tubes. Look at that. That is caked. Caked in crap. Smells like, um, reminds me of, you know when you walk past one of those stores, the Lush cosmetics store? It smells a bit like that. Let's get the wheels. Well, I've used, what, I don't know, 20%? Bloody hell, the army are testing bombs. I think this is about 13 or 14 quid. So you're going to get, I don't know, three, maybe four. I don't know if I'm using the right amount, but it says coat the bike. There you go. I've used about a third of a bottle, maybe a little bit more on the bike and I've coated it like it's asked me to. There he is, Turbo Levo, sat there, filthy, just having a little bath. <laughs> Giving it a good coating. I'm proper geeking out on cleaner, aren't I? I just uh, wanted to work out if it's actually any good. Is it just a marketing thing or is it actually worth buying? Um, Smells bloody lovely actually. I can smell my bike from here. Smells really good. But is it going to get it clean? I've coated it. It's just soaking. I'm going to leave it maybe four or five minutes or so. And I bought a few microfiber cloths and I'm just going to try and clean it down and see how good that you can get it. Hold on a second. In this bag. Bit of all weather lube. Try that. Dry chain cleaner. So maybe we'll stick this on at the same time. I should really cover up some stuff but I'm pretending that I'm out well I am out on a ride so I haven't got I haven't got loads of stuff with me that I'd normally bring it's been about five six minutes something like that so I'm gonna wipe it off get my microfiber cloth and start cleaning it down start cleaning it down and see if it actually works at all let's rub you down Okay, it's kind of kind of working. That's not the that's not the bit that's that tough though, is it? So let's keep folding it. So you might need multiple cloths to do it. Three cloths. Actually, it has got rid of 
a lot of the crap. Now the test will be right under there because look at that I did soak it okay I'm quite quite impressed actually but do the rest of the bike or the rest of the frame and then I'll uh, try some of the harder areas such a geek I even timed it that took 19 minutes and 33 seconds to kind of clean and wipe down um, let's have a look see what you think I'm I'm actually quite impressed but I'll walk around the bike and we'll have a look to see uh, how how deep it kind of cleaned it let's take a look here you go my bike's quite scratched already you might be able to see those kind of abrasions in the paintwork but it definitely cannot get right into the grooves and get all the grit and grime out but for a quick kind of if you're out somewhere and you want to clean your bike it's actually not done such a bad job I was quite intrigued to see how it would handle that down tube it's actually got rid of all the crap all the mud has totally gone it's pretty much gone from the whole frame forks look pretty nice wheels I didn't even bother attempting to do the tires because that needs water but not too bad really it's done all right and my bike smells like a, or a lush kind of soap store what it couldn't do is it couldn't get like right in those gaps there can you see there's still a bit of sandy grit left in there and in the bearings so I'm gonna definitely need to when you give it a deep clean at some point and clean all that out and these bits just behind here but on the whole if you are in a situation where I mean it's an e-bike so you've got to be really careful with water anyway so this uses just a minimum amount of spray. I used about a third of the bottle, so I think you'll probably get three washes. Maybe more if your bike's not as dirty as mine was, or maybe less if it's dirtier. But what do you think? I mean, it's not like a showroom finish. Just down there, let's have a look. But in terms of like a quick 20 minute wipe over, or 25 minutes by the time you've sprayed it and let it kind of lay it's not too bad is it so there you go so whilst i don't think it's going to be as effective as a proper wash with a you know very light spray of water and maybe some muck off or whatever you use it's pretty good if you're just out and about or you've got no access to any water or you just want to clean it before you get in the car um, it's definitely not gotten all those kind of little nooks and crannies where you get a load of the grit and all the grime kind of build up and uh, you do need a few microfiber cloths I think I used three and about a third of the bottle but if you just want a quick and easy spray it leave it wipe it down um, it's pretty good it's pretty good actually fairly impressed let me know what you think down in the comments below have you used it have you used anything else is there any other products that um, are waterless that are pretty good that I should try let me know and if you do like all this stuff subscribe I bring all this electric bike content every week catch up with you all soon